Hello YouTubers, it's the 10th week of lockdown, my name's Gavin Duffy and I'm just giving you a quick overview of our 300 foot garden. It's time now for me to do some projects in the garden and I will make a few videos of my follow up of how I'm doing them. This garden is very long, it's 300 foot long and it's 55 foot wide. I've got plenty of sheds and outbuildings, but sometimes the garden can be hard work. Our vegetable plot that we've got going on, every time I do work on it and clear it, it seems to get weeds growing back terribly. Here's a new planter that my dad's made and we planted it up. Well now we are coming up to the vegetable plot. Here's a quick overview of some of our lawn area and the patio and planter troughs, which I will talk about another day. This is a new experiment I'm doing on the lawn and I'm feeding this section of the lawn with a special plant food and I'm going to check to see if it grows any better. Now this is our vegetable plot. Our vegetable plot is about 40 foot long and it's about 30 foot front to back. Now here we go. This is my thornless blackberry bush. I've got one and another one growing in chimney pots. Now this is what I've been doing today. This is the vegetable plot before I've started to clear it. Now as you can see I've got raspberries, red currants, white currants and a great big cardoon. Now the floor of this vegetable plot is just topsoil, a normal topsoil, but I get so many weeds it gets overbearing. We've got a path here but it's slightly covered up because I've been uh, pulling stuff up. Now what I'm going to do is do an experiment with tyres. So first of all Here's my new roll of plastic. I've laid a plastic sheet on this half of my vegetable plot and I've started to put bark chipping down. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go up this end just one moment so you can see better. I'm going to cover the whole of this plastic sheeting with bark chippings. I've just messaged a tree surgeon to see if I can get any bark chippings cheaper because this one little load here, 100 litres or £7.50, then my plan is I'm going to get some tyres and I'm going to stack the tyres two to four high all the way round the edge of this vegetable plot and then I'm going to fill the tyres up with, with compost and soil mix and then I don't have to get on the floor all the time and weed and I'm going to plant the tyres up with mostly I'm looking at soft fruit like blackberries, raspberries, currants, thornless blackberries and I've heard of a plant called a wine plant which basically um, has big red berries on it a bit like a blackberry and also I've got some hybrid plants which are cross between a blackberry and a raspberry and uh, 